Every year, Condé Nast Traveler reveals its annual hot list, which spotlights the best new hotels, restaurants, and more around the world. Here, a hip new place to sleep in the city that never sleeps, a restored Victorian charmer in the heart of California wine country, and a sophisticated urban stay in downtown Denver are three of the standout properties on this year's hot list. The new Ritz-Carlton opened in New York City's Nomad neighborhood, and it's the perfect centrally located home base from which to explore the entire city. The 50-floor all-glass building has a fresh modern look with pops of muted gold and silver and stunning hand-blown light fixtures by sculptor Randy Zieber. What really makes the Ritz-Carlton stand out are the hotel's buzzy restaurants and bars. Zatina, a Mediterranean spot from Michelin-starred chef Jose Andres, is fast becoming a hard reservation to score. The menu is an ode to Greek, Turkish, and Lebanese cuisine, with classics like smoky baba ganoush and grilled octopus. And of course, an excellent list of Greek and Turkish wines. The real scene stealer is the 50th floor rooftop bar in New Belize, which channels the Roaring Twenties with a throwback color palette and lots of polished brass, a dress code requirement, and a drinks menu full of elevated classic cocktails dramatically presented. New York is best seen on foot, and after a day of walking around, it's time for some pampering. The subterranean spa is spacious and chic. Go for an Augustina spot or facial, or if you want a quick recharge, try a 15-minute guided session in one of the meditation pods. Then it's up to your room. Done up in calming, neutral tones, rooms are soothing sanctuaries to return to. But a peek out your window at the iconic Manhattan skyline reminds you that you're in the center of it all. Welcome to California wine country and the Madrona. Perched on a hill surrounded by vineyards and groves of citrus and olive trees, this former Victorian era mansion turned boutique hotel feels like a rural retreat. With mild, sunny weather, everything grows in Sonoma, which means much of the produce that winds up on the restaurant's menu is grown nearby, or even right in the hotel's own gardens. The temperate climate also means you can eat al fresco year-round. Inside, San Francisco-based designer Jay Jeffers took inspiration from the aesthetic movement, which prized the pursuit of art and beauty for their own sake, and was popular during the 1880s when the house was built. And yes, you are in the heart of wine country and wine tasting is a must, but make time for the hotel's small but chic swimming pool. And while the Sonoma vintages are great, don't feel guilty about having a cocktail. The hotel's craft cocktail game is strong, especially the Estate Martini, which pairs particularly well with the caviar and house-made potato chips or a dozen local oysters. Each of the rooms is different. Many are a study in paired back elegance with huge windows, crisp Italian linens, and hints of sophisticated gray. But to really channel the aesthetic movement, ask for one of the rooms with the stunning botanical wallpaper that covers every inch of the space, including the ceiling. Next stop is the Mile High City. The new Thompson Denver perfectly captures both sides of the city and seamlessly blends urban cool with alpine comfort. The loft-like lobby, which goes heavy on exposed brick, taps into the city's location in the hip lower downtown neighborhood. On the sixth floor is the handsome Reynard Social, which has a welcoming members club feel with a pool table and leather couches. It's become a local hotspot for happy hour thanks to its city views, globally inspired nibbles, and inventive cocktails. The tequila and sherry-based high water, which is spiked with sage and pignon, is a must order. No stay here is complete without a meal at the much buzzed about Chez Maggie from chef Ludo Lefebvre, who trained for years in his native France. The menu at this lobby level spot channels a French brasserie by way of the Rocky Mountains with dishes like bison tartare and Colorado lamb chops. But there are also some straight up French classics that chef Ludo is known for, like his pastries, mussels frites, and a French onion soup topped with melted gruyere. New York City design firm Parts and Labor is behind the mid-century feel of the hotel's rooms and suites. Woven wool rugs cover the wide plank hardwood floors, and saddle leather headboards nod to Denver's western spirit. The spacious Thompson Suite is the hotel's crown jewel, with a sprawling private terrace and a two-sided indoor-outdoor fireplace. A great hotel draws in the best of food, design, and comfort, and is the foundation of an amazing trip. Learn more about these and other hot list hotels now on Condé Nast Traveler's Hot List Hub. Brought to you by Capital One. What's in your wallet?